the company focuses mainly on starchy foods, leguminous foods, oil palm, and vegetables. Thus, it's a crop-based farming system without the animals in place. It has three branches in Greater Accra region, Central, and in Asante regions. Due to the mass amount of goods it produces, the farm has its clients being academic institutions, restaurants, and workplaces and was recently, in 2017, rewarded a government contract to supply high schools with food to, su- to support the free SHS system. Eduache Farms, therefore, would need a database management system to keep track of client payment histories, keep track of its employees' information, to track the revenue it made, the company made over a particular time period, to keep track of equipment, to ensure proper functioning, to ensure that they get rec- the records of most purchase crops via client purchase, and finally, to find out whether they have more of a particular type of crop in storage or on the farm. There are unspoken rules which underlie the proper running and function of the company. These serve as assumptions in which the company's purposes and, and roles are performed. And you can feel free to pause the video. See the assumption. The ER diagram contains strong entities, crop, equipment, client, staff, branches, vehicles, and farm, and weak entities, storage, deliveries, payment, and their relationship between each other. It also contains and shows into detail the multiplicities that that come into hand or come into play as a result of this relationship between them. The ER diagram had generalization and specialization features of the payment weak entity, which entailed a bank payment or mobile money. It also in- included a specialized, a specialized class of the generalized staff class, which included farmhand, manager, and driver. As a result of a many-to-many relationship between some entities in the ER diagram, the entities were decomposed to form other entities, with their multiplicities being rightly put in place. It it shows in its entirety how an individual, the process or the stringent process through it, an individual has to order his crop, how the crop goes into processing through the storage, how the farmhand uses the farmhand equipment on the crops, how the staff helps the client place an order, how an order is linked to a delivery due to a client's purposes or client's preference, and finally, how the driver uses a vehicle to go on a delivery to the client's location. It also talks about and shows into detail how managers manage branches. These rules are accounted to by the relationship that exists between entities in the enterprise relationship diagram and are 24 in number due to the number of entities that were derived. The logical tables for this database management system contain strong entities, farm, crop, client, staff, branch, vehicle, equipment, and storage facility. For a farm, the farm has a primary key farm ID with its farm address, region, and land area being peculiar attributes to the farm. The crop has its ID being a primary key to it, as well as the name of the crop, the type of the crop in question, the harvest time in months, and then the crop yield for that crop. As a result of a client being a strong entity it has a client id with the name of the client being very vital in the company's processes due to the fact that the company's clients are normally large institutions such as schools universities and in other institutions as a result the email telephone number location and region of the client must be known a staff number Serving as a primary key for the staff is a very essential attribute for a staff. It contains the first name of the staff, the date of birth, the telephone number, the staff's date of that particular staff, the time the staff starts to work, and then the time the staff has to go home and ends work. 
a branch. As a result of the relationship between attributes, there needs to be a payment attribute or a payment entity which takes into account the client's payment of goods or services. As a result, it has a primary key payment ID with the cost attached to it in CDs, the date the client made the payment, the payment status, whether paid or not, the, and the order ID as a foreign key as a result of it being linked to the payment. A storage facility would have its storage facility ID as it is a strong entity, the storage type and then the capacity the storage facility can hold. As a result of the farm, the farm hand being a specialized class of the generalized class employee or staff, it would have a staff number being a foreign key, the area of expertise of that farm hand, the education level as well. The manager as a result of its specialized class would have a staff number it starts with a company telephone number and a company email as well as a branch id as each manager is linked to a branch a driver would have a staff number and a vehicle id as foreign keys and a license number attribute and a license type attribute a farm hand the farm and equipment would have two foreign keys staff number and equipment id while the orders entity would have a primary key of order ID and three foreign keys of payment ID, staff ID and client ID. The entity's uses crop order deliveries is kept in and has were stemmed as a result of the relationship between certain attributes center entities in the ER diagram. As a result, the uses table would have a crop ID being foreign key equipment ID and the staff number being foreign keys as it is the bridge between the complex relationship between the crop equipment and then the farm hand. The crop order would have a crop ID and obviously an order ID as foreign keys. The delivery entity would have a staff number and an order ID and the S captain would have a storage facility ID being a foreign key. A crop ID being a foreign key and then the storage date being one of the attributes of the is kept in feature because it entails the number of all the type of goods kept in a storage and then finally the has table or the has entity would have a farm ID and crop ID being foreign keys.
started off by creating tables and then I use the I use some key constraints like not now unique. I also had primary keys for my ent entities. I created indexes on some entities to be able to extract some values I wanted to. So these are my tables that I've created the equipment payment farm hand and the tables were created for the entities in question. The foreign keys that were inscribed into certain entities due to the fact that I had relations with other entities. These are my insertions as I as there was a requirement to map out certain attributes and to fill them. And then to my queries. So to fit the database, the database was needed to keep track of payment histories. As such, the query written as query one to keep track of monthly revenue. So as to for every business, the revenue was a place an instrumental role in the business dealing. So that was a very necessary one. The third query was to find out most cross purchased. So we used the inner join to find it. Then to map clients to particular orders that they made. And then finally to map crops to the storage facilities that they were put in. As such, when my SQL code was run, the results are displayed in the table below. Thank you.